Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, here with another NBA Live 16. M NBA Live 16 news and previews and stuff like that. So, yeah. As you see in the background, There is some um, NBA Lost 16 gameplay for Pro Am. This is definitely. This is definitely something good. Still does make up for three of the the app. I'm sorry, uh, they still dropped the player doesn't make up for it. But I can't deny how good the gameplay looks. Just uh, just looking at it, and, you know. pretty dope and um so as you can see they're playing at the adidas brooklyn center whatever and it looks pretty dope it looks like a coliseum it's like a, it's an outdoor coliseum in brooklyn it's, it looks pretty dope i don't know if this is real or if it's not really i, I don't care it looks dope uh this is one of the camera uh, views they were talking about um that was going to be new here. Um, it's a nice camera view, but I, I still prefer the 2K base, you know, uh, camera view. Um, as you see, Jeff Teague, I believe that's just Jeff Teague getting it to go. Um, and it seems like I guess you're going to be, yeah, yeah, you, you, it's a, yeah, I remember them saying you play up to 21, so there is no time. Then there's this uh, tip off right here. This is just to show. Um, this is just to show off the defensive thing that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about on Monday with NBA Live uh, gameplay. Um, so yeah, that defensive game, uh, defensive stuff is coming later on. And this right here was the post. This is here's what happens after the game is over, whether you win or lose shows you pretty much everything kind of like how rising star does it shows you everything that you did in the game shows you stats uh your your teammate grade you know what i'm saying and i have to say the clothes the clothing of the players is pretty dope and it seems like there's gonna be some dope ass haircuts in here too to tinker around with So yeah, look at this man. This looks dope. I I cannot deny, man. This looks dope. This is fire. Uh, gameplay right here. And actually, you can actually see the shirts actually moving. Cause like in NBA 2K, when you play at the park in NBA 2K, you play at the park or the rec. They clothes don't move. They clothes be stiff as fuck. And the clothes actually move here, like they, they, like you can actually see the shorts. You know, you can see the shorts actually swaying, and the shirt swaying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's pretty dope how they did this. Um, um, yeah. So the clothing looks dope, and um. Just going back to this one right here, it's, it seems as if, you know, 
you may not get as much SP, but you can unlock like shirts and shoes and stuff like that from that. And that's pretty dope that you can unlock like shoes and shirts. So that way, if, if you don't have enough SP to buy them, so hopefully, um, with all the SP that you gotta earn, remember, you cannot buy SP, you have to earn SP. You cannot, you cannot, you have to, you have to play to earn instead of pay, play, pay to win. You do not pay to win in this game. You play to earn. There's no cheesing out here. You gotta work your way up from the start to make. You gotta work your way up from the start. If you're a uh, a 72 overall, you gotta be. You gotta put that time in. And NBA Live, you know. It kind of takes a while to catch up to a 90. Now, I, I would highly recommend that if you're trying to get up to a 90, 90, I highly recommend you play Rising Star mode. Um, don't just hop right into um. Don't just hop right into uh Pro Am right away. Uh, take your time. So yeah, um, and yeah, so I'm gonna just. Go through these uh, little notes right here that was left on EA, on EA's website, um, and it says, "What's good, people? It's your boy Hoop God." So apparently, Hoop God wrote this little article right here, and he says, "I know you've been asking for NBA Live 16 gameplay, so I had to deliver the goods, peep some fresh new gameplay in Summer Circuit and tip off." Get a head start with the free demo on September 15th before you pick up the full version on September 29th. Here's a quick look at Summer Circuit in Brooklyn. There's no room for ball hogs to make sure. So make sure you play as a team if you want to win. Ah, see that teamwork make the dream work, ladies and gentlemen. And then he said post game. Post game pro am score. See how you perform after every pro am game. You'll also earn points to upgrade and improve your baller. Okay, obviously, we know that's going to happen. And then the tip off gameplay was just to get a quick preview of the new play calling system in action. And that new play call system was probably talking about that defense wheel, the spin wheel for the defense, and uh, that was pretty dope. As you see Kevin Durant, you actually got to see the shot percentage of his shot. And that's pretty dope. I like the fact that you can see the shot percentage instead of, you know, a stupid fucking, you know, <laughs> a stupid fucking, you know, you know, ready to see if you got a green release or a yellow release or a red release. Come on, man. Fuck out of here with that shit, man. Don't nobody want no goddamn shot meter, man. 2K, don't nobody want a motherfucking shot meter, man. I'd rather see the percentage of how I shot that ball. If I shot that ball at 60%, then that's a good shot. And that should be the spot I should continue to focus on trying to get to and make myself get open and available, make, my, make sure I'm open and available in that spot so I can knock down my shots from that area. Now it doesn't seem like the uh, the percentage thing pops up at the top of the uh, player when you're playing at the pro amp. Maybe you have to turn it on via settings or what? I don't know. Um, they didn't really show enough because I wanted to see. I didn't really. I I like the dunk. The dunk was nice, but I kind of wanted to see, you know, you know a little bit more about the you know the shot system and how different it is. You know, so I wanted to learn a little bit more about that. Uh, NBA Live, you know, NBA Live, you know, just has this, NBA Live has just been improving and getting better, and I've been impressed with everything they've been doing, up until the fucking, the app, fuck, until the app failure fuck up, um, <laughs> I'm still waiting on that app, EA, hopefully it comes out today, which is Saturday, cause I mean, like I said, if you drop it on Sunday, it's not going to be that much time to get everybody's shit over. I'm just saying. But, yeah, man, that, I don't really have that much to say, man. This this this, this gameplay is dope. Um, 
obviously they didn't show as much as I wanted to see so I'm I'm just this is what I'm expecting from this demo on Tuesday what I'm expecting from this demo really is I'm expecting I'm expecting no cheese going on I'm expecting no cheese no you know respectable uh, a, res a respectable and logical gameplay to that to be going on against other people um, and and ultimately you know just uh, finding a great way to keep everything keep the flow going and, and, and you know uh, what the fuck am I talking about um, what I'm really looking for is you know I'm looking for balanced gameplay with the offline mode so I will be playing I will start off by playing you know Cavaliers versus Warriors I'm gonna start off with that then I'm gonna move over to Pro-Am because I want to see how the gameplay is with the game you know offline versus it being online so you know I want to see all the new gameplay improvements they did with the game and not just and not just play and not just jump right into pro am okay so I I, I do I'm, I do want to jump into pro am I and I am and I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing that a lot throughout the whole demo but I really want to see the new features in the gameplay before I make my decision before I really you know before I really you know because I, I haven't fully played paid off NBA Live 16 I paid off 2k 16 2k16 is fully paid off I'm getting that you know but I haven't fully paid off NBA live yet so yeah so I really want to see what uh, what what they're offering because if not then you know I, 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 I mean I'm still gonna get the game regardless but still you know but yeah, I'm, I'm just expecting a, a, a lot of things to be changed. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of new animations. I'm expecting the dribbling to be. I'm expecting the dribbling to be more effective to the defense. Um, I'm expecting you know the defense to not be stagnant and just standing in one place. I mean, this gameplay it it, it wasn't really. Everybody's saying that oh you can see how the players are moving around. They're not standing around. I mean, they only showed a little clip. I need to see a full game of it. So that's just me. I, I just want to see a full game of it. Because, you know, these little clips right here were cool and all that. But then, you know, they, they, nah. they not, they not, it's not enough for me, pretty much. Just like 2K, it's not, it's not enough. You know, the clips were good, but it's not enough. I need to see a little bit longer gameplay and stuff like that. <laughs> Hey, you know it's, it's fucked up cuz 2k do their streams on Tuesday so there's no telling what the fuck they got to pull out they ass um, for they uh, live stream on Tuesday because you know who the fuck gonna be watching they live stream cuz who the fuck gonna be caring about their live stream when NBA live is dropping a free fucking demo with a game mode that were that is highly been anticipated um, so 2k gonna have to really drop something they either gonna have to drop some live gameplay they gonna have to bring spike lee in and talk about my career because that's the only thing i'm really interested in with 2k16 right now is the my career story and how it's gonna play out whatever so yeah but yeah man that's pretty much gonna be about it very impressive but i need to see more and i will see you guys next i will see you guys on tuesday NBA Live 16 demo. Let's get it. I'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace out.